Hey guys, uh, Corey here with Oval Edge RC. So we're gonna start our second part of the Mud Boss series. And what I wanna talk with you guys today about is drag. And I think what we should do is we should start by defining what drag is. And so if you Google this, drag is a mechanical force. It is generated by the interaction and contact of a solid body with a fluid, liquid, or gas. So the way we can translate that to RC racing is the fluid or gas that our car is interacting with is air. So we want to reduce the amount of drag that our car has because it's slowing us down. Our car is moving around the track, air is pushing against it and slowing it down. It's, it's no different than how the car manufacturers streamline their new, latest and greatest car uh, for aerodynamics and efficiency and you know all these other things. So what I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you a couple ways where we can start to reduce drag in our car. Now it's not all, this isn't all the ways, it's just a couple ways that uh, are, are kind of low hanging fruit for uh, the Mud Boss Racing class. So the first thing we're gonna look at is, is bearings. So depending on your race class, you may be able to use ceramic bearings. So ceramic bearings are gonna look very similar to this and they're gonna have these seals on the outside. The inside is gonna have little ball bearings. Now, if it's a ceramic bearing, the balls are actually ceramic. Uh, they roll nicer, uh, they last longer. Um, if you have a standard kind of stainless roller bearing like these that came with the Traxxas equipment, we can still work with these and we can make these a bit better. Not quite as good as ceramic, but um, that again is gonna be determined by your rule, your class rules, what track you're racing at and so forth. Um, so for the purpose of this, we're just going to look at these stock bearings, as I'll call them. <clears throat> so also, if depending on if you're racing outdoors or indoors, you may want to do this or not do this. So the first thing is you can pull the seals off and you'd be very careful. Please uh, use the proper precautions when you're doing this. Basically, you want to get under the seal, pry it up, and this is kind of your standard seal. And it's going to look very similar to the other bearing. There's an inside and an outside. The solid blue is the outside. The kind of inner piece with the ring is the inside. And so what this seal does is it rubs on the inside of this bearing and it creates drag. So if you're racing indoors, I would recommend this. If you're racing outdoors, I would not recommend this because dirt and contaminants will get inside and will actually slow your bearings down. So the first thing you wanna do is you can trim this inner piece so you put your X-Acto knife in there, and please be very careful when you do this. Um, you can trim this inner piece off and start to take off the inner part of the seal. And you'll start to see it come off. It takes a few, few turns to go around and do it. Guys, if you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, please do that. Um, really appreciate it. New channel, I'm trying to put out some good content for you guys. So... Subscribe, like, hit that bell, um, and, and you know, comment. Let me know what you want to see. If this is helpful, if this isn't helpful, I can I can change my content and uh, give you guys some other tips. So now that this the seal on this inner seal, the inner ring of the seal is gone, this will create less drag. Now, when we're looking at the car, there's two bearings per wheel. So two, four six, eight, you have one on the end of the slipper clutch, and then there's several inside the transmission. Uh, I think there's four, I think there's four inside the transmission. So I would recommend doing this if you're doing carpet racing, if you're doing outside racing, I would not. Um, the other thing you wanna check is, you know, it, it, are you dealing with a brand new Mud Boss? Are your bearings crunchy? And what I mean by crunchy is, is if you put them on the tip of your finger and you rotate them, can you feel them? That's what I call crunch. That means you have contaminants in there. And so taking off both seals, using a parts cleaner, like a brake clean or WD-40, and kind of spraying that out. And then what I like to use is, um, and this is, this is not a product review, uh, but this is what I prefer, uh, any kind of light oil. So this is a Hobby Lube light oil. I picked it up at the hobby shop. Um, you could use a shock oil. You could use really any lightweight oil. You don't want to be, you know, you, I wouldn't bust out the uh, Traxxas 60 weight, but a lightweight oil inside those bearings will go, go a long way. Make sure those bearings aren't crunchy. 
put them back together, put the car back together. Now you've reduced your drag on all your wheels. So also, and I don't have a transmission here apart to show you, I can certainly do that. There have been other YouTubers, I believe Mark from Oval RC has done it. Um, there's been a couple others. When you, you can take the transmission apart and clean out the stock grease. So when these ship, they're loaded with a black grease that creates a lot of drag. Uh, inside both cases and inside the differential, um, you, what you want to do is you want to clean all that out. Get all your grease out of there. Um, cut your seals. Get all that working. Lube up all those, those bearings. And then fill your differential with a light oil. Something similar to this. Maybe even lighter if you can find it. And what, what that's going to do is watch how smooth my transmission spins. You know, if your transmission is not spinning that freely you're losing power. You have extra drag on your car. Um, same with the front wheels, you know. For a stock bearing, that's what these are, these spin pretty good. And, and it's all about, you know, those, those guys that run at the top that are doing TQs and winning those A mains and even getting into the A mains, they're doing all this. They're reducing their drag because all of this is tenths of a second. And when you're racing on a bull ring or a smaller oval, even the bigger ovals, you need every edge you can get. And that's why my channel's here, is to help you identify these little pieces that you can go and work on. So do your bearings, get those oiled up, get the grease out of your transmission, cut those seals, and you're gonna be good as gold. Now, the other thing I wanna show you guys is a product that I'm actually working on. Um, I haven't released this yet. There are some other companies, I think, that make this. So this is a wheel cover for a carpet mud boss tire. And so this is 3D printed. It's my own design. There's no holes on the outside. Some of the some of the other products they have a hole or they have a um a brass inset here where they screw it onto the excess axle. And I didn't really like that. So what I've done is I've created this clip system where you can slide it onto the wheel. And what you do is you bend it from the center just a, ever so slightly. It'll snap on. Boom. Now you've got a nice cover on your mud boss wheel. If you want to take it off, it's two fingers on the inside. You push, pops right off. So why would you want this? Again, we're going back to the conversation about drag. As air is going forward over these rims, it's getting caught in these pockets. And while that might not be a big deal on short, short tracks, on the bigger tracks it is. And so adding, you know, a wheel cover, is going to let that air shear off the side of the wheel and you're gonna be good to go. So if anyone's interested in these, I think I'm gonna be selling them for about $10 a set. I'm still finalizing the design, um, but these are gonna be printed out of uh, PETG or PLA Plus. Um, and they're, they seem to be pretty rugged so far. I've done a little bit of testing with them. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of the overall drag conversation. And the other thing I want you guys to look out for is on the bottom of this car. You see it right here? This is all rubber. Do I have a scraper I can do? This is all rubber. So you gotta make sure that your ride height is set. So this, I was losing speed in the last race that I did uh, because as my car was going into the corner and that chassis was flexing, it was rubbing on the outside of the track. So I didn't have enough spring and suspension to fully accommodate the speed and the weight transfer that my car was doing. We're going to cover that a bit more in depth in probably our next video. Um, but I wanted to get another video out to you guys so you can start to understand drag and uh, the effect it can have on your car. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you like the content. And uh, again, this is Corey from uh, Oval Edge RC. Thank you.